All right, so I recently went to the Nike employee store and dropped uh, a little bit of money there. Just had some fun finding some just random stuff. Honestly, when the stores are a little bit dry, it's kind of the most fun to micro search to try to find like just random things to buy. So I got a couple things for myself, a couple for the wife and the kids. And let's go ahead and show you guys a video. What is going on guys, Hess here, CollectiveKicks.com. If you guys want to shop this week's top sneaker deals, check the link in the description and happy shopping. Uh, if you guys have not seen my previous videos, I posted a video on the Jim Red Air Jordan 1s as well as, as well as the TK Off-Whites as you can see right here. So check out those videos if you guys haven't. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Let's go ahead and get into this crazy haul. So first you see the very front here, we have some Travis Scott Astro World acrylic container right don't know why I bought this, honestly. It was just one of those things where it popped up in my feed and I was like, okay, sure, I'll buy it. I got this and actually I got the spoon and the bowl as well, but the spoon and the bowl haven't shipped yet. I don't know why, but it's still like pending. But I got my fancy box of Reese's Puffs. Super, super dumb. I don't know why people would pay that much for this because 100% this acrylic box is El Terrible. Like it's super cheap quality. You can find this at your arts and crafts stores and probably find a better quality than what you have with this container. So definitely not worth the 50 bucks unless there's something magical inside where I can get Travis Scott sneakers. Um, I haven't opened it to find out, but yeah, other than that, it would totally probably not be worth it. So uh, anyway, I wanted to show you guys that just because I got it in the mail. And then this haul is kind of nuts. So we'll start off with this pair here. They have to act, so I got a pair of Dornbeckers, and these are the Air Jordan 15s. And this one was designed by Donovan, as you can see right here. It has some Dragon Ball Z inspirations behind here, and some nice dragon scales on the suede upper, lots of gold accents. I did a pretty detailed review of this uh, back around Christmas time um, when these uh, ended up releasing. So this shoe was really dope. But as you can see here, I already have a pair of these as well, so I just got an extra pair. I mean, they were 143, so it was under retail, and I was like, why not? It's a great shoe, and it's just another opportunity for me to get a double up of a shoe that I really appreciated. First pair right here. All right, next up. Yeah, I actually went and got another pair of these. Air Max 270s. I actually ended up buying another pair of these because if you guys saw my Pegasus 2 video, you guys already know I sold my first pair. But at 40% off, I was like, man, I kind of want the shoe and then I could do a follow-up review video after wearing these for a month. If you guys would like to see that, leave a comment in the comment section as well as any other shoes that you guys would like to see me do a follow-up on and let you guys know what uh, it was like wearing for a month. Uh, this is the next in line probably next to the Pegasus Turbo 2 because that's the one I'm wearing every single day right now. I absolutely love that shoe. So this is the next pickup that you can see. All right, next up, this one was crazy to see there. I, I mean, for me personally, I was actually scoping StockX, trying to buy these on the open market, just waiting for a good price. But then I saw they had a couple sizes of this shoe right here. This is the Reese Forbes Denim High, and this is uh, like a play on to the low top version that was like super coveted from back in the day. But this is the high top version, and I really wanted it back when they dropped originally. I just never ended up buying them. For some reason they have these there. I don't know why, because these are not new. These actually dropped in 2016 or 2017, so they dropped a couple years ago, but it was a shoe that I really wanted to try out, especially with all of the uh, Levi craze with the Jordan 4s. I really wanted to um, distress a pair of these and use a Dremel and kind of just make these look all crazy. So I plan on doing a custom on these in the future because I thought that it would go appropriate since it has a bunch of raw edge denim on these super random that they had there, and especially 40% off. So I actually got two pairs of these as well. So this is a pair of the Pegasus Turbo 2, but this is a women's size 9. This is a women's colorway. They actually released them early in the store, which was really rad. I've never seen them do that. Uh, and so I ended up getting a pair from my friend's wife. She's always a big fan of the Pegasus. So I actually am such a fan of the Turbos that I was like, you got to try these ones too. So I got her a pair of these. I think she's going to like these quite a bit. I mean, I absolutely love my pair. So uh, I think that I wanted to share the love a little bit. Next. And then next I did get a pair of pants. And these are Nike Tech pants. It's kind of like an off-white cream color to them. Super tapered though on the bottom. So I figured this would be a really fun one to do on feet videos for. Uh, it is a little bit off-white though. So 
I thought maybe I could use this for like an ice dye too, but I don't really want to do a crazy ice dye like I did in my hoodie on these pants. So I'm just going to leave these as be. And if you guys were wondering about this hoodie, I bought this hoodie the last time I was at the Nike employee store. It was like $30 or $35. And um, I did this crazy design on it. And I did a video on how to actually do this ice dye. If you guys are curious, just check my channel out. Um, next. Oh yeah, so my friend, as I mentioned, Pegasus Turbo. I got her a pair of the regular Pegasus 36 as well. I basically get her a Pegasus every single time that there's a new one. And obviously the 36s are out. And it's fitting colorways. Both of these are greens and she's actually an Oregon Duck alumni. Unfortunately, not a beaver, but a Duck alumni. And she ran track over there at Oregon. Uh, but, uh, but I figured she'd like these green colors. Not normally what I get her, but it's kind of what they had. Somebody left a comment in one of my videos or something that said, try the Pegasus 36 trails. And they had them there, but I didn't buy them. But uh, have you guys tried them or not? Leave a comment in the comment section. What do you guys think about the trails? The next up, I already showed you guys these, but I'll pull out the other pair. And this is the turbos as well here for the wife. So hopefully she likes these. It's funny because I rave about the Pegasus Turbo so much. I've actually never got her a pair. I have like four or five pairs myself. So um, she has her first pair now. So I'm excited to see if she likes them or not. Next up, we have a new box here. One that I did not recognize uh, before. And we have uh, the Zoom Freaks right here. And I wanted to give these a try. Just a feel on feet and see how they, they were. And the overall upper and the shoe looked kind of crazy. Obviously, you could see the giant, huge backward swoosh on the shoe. I think that that is a really cool design element to the shoe. And I've seen some colorways that have dropped that actually Cousteau posted uh, that looked amazing. So uh, I was like, well, I kind of want to see what these are like. So I ended up buying a pair since I had them there. And so thanks to Shoelander, who is a uh, buddy of mine, uh, Jason, he mentioned to me that these actually fit a little bit snug. So I actually went up a half a size. I went with a size 10 instead of a nine and a half, uh, but I'm not going to be hooping in these. So I wanted the extra breathing room. So next up, you can see I got a couple pairs here of just some gray box Nike Airs. And these are some Air Force Ones in white on white. I mean, it's kind of like the, the traditional classic thing to do. And you guys already know I've been doing a lot of hydro dips on my channel. So I figured I'd get a pair of these to hydro dip again. I have a couple more coming for some Air Force Ones. I have an, another low top, another high top ready to go. And then I have another pair here, but I also got a second pair because they had them at the employee store. I mean, might as well get them for 40% off for the white on whites. And then I figured I'd actually go ahead and give away a pair or two of the ones that I hydro dip. So if you guys are actually interested in those hydro dip videos, go check them out. When I create them, I plan on giving away both of these. I'm not sure what prints I'm going to do. And I'm going to do a print on this one and let you guys vote on what print to do on the second one. So stay tuned for those. They're just fun for me to do. And if you guys like the Hydro Dip videos, then it's worth uh, checking them out. I also have a channel for Harrison, my son. He's three and a half right now. And so I got him some white on white Air Force Ones as well. I will be Hydro Dipping these on his channel even. And I also got him a pair of white on white Crocs for him to hydro dip. So I'm actually gonna do the hydro dipping for him because of the chemicals involved with the sprays and everything. I'm not trying to get him involved with all that, but he really sees all the, the cool colorful shoes I've created and he's like always super like interested in them. So I'm gonna create a couple for him uh, and then have him uh, do those on his channel. So kind of fun. So working my way down the line, I just got a couple more pairs here. Um, as you guys already saw, I got one of those in the Reese Forbes and because they had them there for the price that they did, I, I doubled up on them, man. I was like, you know what? I kind of want to leave one just as is, and I want to distress one. Also, if I distress one and it turns out terrible, I have a backup plan. So that's kind of why I bought a second one. Um, and they only had size eights and size tens there. So I got some size 10. Size eight was way too small for my feet. Size 10, I could make work. You guys kind of know the drill, right? Like I get a size 10 and double socket, or I get a size eight and then try to take out the insole and not wear socks. At the end of the day, you got to do what you do to figure out how to get some of the shoes to fit when there's an opportunity, you strike. So I got size 10s, which means double up my socks, but that's all right. And then the last pair I got, a pair of Jordans. They really didn't have very many Jordan retros there this time. In fact, I was really hoping that they'd have the Ferrari yellow uh, joints because the kid sizes, the quality looked amazing on them. They looked really, really nice. Like even though it was leather, buttery leather, I don't know why people were sleeping on them so much. Maybe the men's sizes weren't as good as the kids. I really don't know, but I didn't end up getting them. They only had a size eight and a half on the hash wall, so I couldn't make that work. So I got the next best thing. Hyped up Air Jordan 1 
mid top. <laughs> Uh, so I bought a pair of white on white Air Jordan 1 mid tops as well for a hydro dip video I thought this would be a fun one actually a lot of people were asking for one so Because you guys keep asking me for them and maybe it's because you guys see the other kids out there doing the hydro dip videos And I think it's cool that those kids are actually out there doing hydro dip videos It's really gave more of a platform to um, People to watch hydro dipping and it's like just fun and just to watch people actually do it It's a lot more difficult than what they and myself probably make it look like because you can really screw up your shoes. So you just gotta be careful. But I wanted to do a pair of Air Jordan 1s, and so I got the mid tops. They also did have the low tops in triple white, but I didn't buy them. If you guys do want me to do a low top Jordan 1 as well, leave a comment in the comment section because I'm gonna be going back to the employee store at some point through the month since my wife actually got a pass for her work. And the last of this stuff is just some miscellaneous stuff. I got some tech fleece for the boy. And man, I can't believe he's a size four already. Like what the heck, he can wear these, it's crazy. But I also got him the matching uh, hoodie for that, so I thought he could look uh, pretty fresh in his little hoodie set, which he's had basically since he's been nine months old. He's had another set of those, like every single step. It's been crazy. And I couldn't leave Maddie out. She's a growing little girl. And so I got her, this is like an 18-monther, but like a pink hoodie for her. And that actually came with a black pair of pants for her. And then I got her these little itty-bitty like pink joints. She's going to be able to wear these like once. She's... These are 12 monthers, but she's already wearing 12 monthers. She's a, uh, a chubby little baby. But I, and then I also got her this like little sparkly white shirt that came with that as a set. And then last, because I always have to get one usually every single trip, uh, and this time it's for the wife. I didn't find one for myself, but I got her, the wife an Oregon State Beaver shirt since we gotta get one like pretty much every time we go since we're alumni. And um, you know, whenever they have them, I just like went in Rome, gotta buy them. So, and they actually had quite a bit, so I should maybe get a couple more next time. But but that is the haul, as you can see, kind of a lot of stuff, a lot of just randomness. I mean, some of this is just for the channel, like the Zoom Freaks. I mean, I just needed these to try them out for fun. Uh, some of them are for arts and crafts because I want to distress these guys. And then obviously the hydro dipping for the channel. And so it's kind of like for the science of the channel and just making different and fun content. And then some uh, random gifts. And then I come up on some of these guys right here, which I thought was a great price, uh, considering I paid retail for the other ones. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. It's just kind of a fun trip to the Nike employee store. Last time was a crazy amount of heat, like at least for myself, because they had so many crazy like Air Jordan 4 Levi's and everything else. This time, definitely not so much of that, but I got a lot of fun things that I wanted to give a try. But that is the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, notification bell to be notified of when the videos go live. Like the video if you like the video. And then like the video if you don't like the video. I don't, you don't have to. But anyway, have a good rest of the day. More videos soon. Peace, guys.